With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello. So our question is find the equation of pair of tangents from now we have to solve each of these. So we know, let's write down the theory first that equation equation of pair of tangents equation of pair of tangents on any circle from an external point it is basically given by t square is equals to ss1 so we will use this for each of the parts so first one is given as from the origin so therefore our x1 comma y1 x1 comma y1 is coming out to be the origin 0 comma 0 so therefore t square equals to ss1 it is coming out to be x into 0 plus y into 0 plus 5 into 5 into x plus 0 plus 5 into y plus 0 plus 40 whole square this is basically t square and then ss1 so that means x square plus y square plus 10x plus 10y plus 40 multiplied by now s1 that means we will put 0 comma 0 so therefore only the constant term will remain so that's why multiplied by 40 so now let's look at the equations t square so that means we can take out okay this will be 5x let's write it down 5x plus 5y plus 40 whole square or rather we can take 5 common so therefore this equation will be let's take 5 common out so x square 25 times x square x plus x plus y plus 8 whole square is equals to now 40 multiplied by x square plus y square plus 10x plus 10y plus 40 so if we can try to cancel out it will be 5 and then 8 so therefore it is coming out to be 5x square plus 5y square and then plus this will be 64 into 5 that means 320 then plus 2 into 8 so that means 16 into 5 that means 80x plus 80y and then it will be 2xy so that means 2 into 5 so that means 10xy is equals to now on this side it will be 8x square plus 8y square plus 80x plus 80y plus 8 into 4 40 that means 320 so this is 320 okay this will be 80y so after cancellation what we can see 80x 80y and 320 are getting cancelled out so 80x 80y and 320 so the remaining equation will be 8 minus 5 that means 3x square plus 3y square and minus 10xy is equals to 0 right so therefore so this is basically our final equation or rather let's try to factorize it 3x square and we can write minus 10 as minus 9xy and minus xy plus 3y square we are doing this just because I can see that it can be easily factorized or else this is our basically our required pair of equation of pair of tangents so let's write it 3x common so therefore x minus 3y and plus minus if we take minus y common it will be x minus 3y equals to 0 so basically our equation of pair of tangents will be 3x minus y times x minus 3y equals to 0 so this is for the first one then for the second one it is 4 comma 10 for the circle x square plus y square equals to 25 so therefore t square so that means x into let's write down the point first x1 comma y1 
this is given as 4 comma 10 and what is the equation of the circle x square plus y square equals to 25 so first t square so that means 4x plus 10y minus 25 whole square right let's check it first okay uh, okay so then is equals to s so that means x square plus y square minus 25 and s1 it will be 16 plus 100 minus 25 so let's expand this both sides so first one is coming out to be 16 x square plus 100 y square and then plus 625 then minus 2 into 4 that means 8 into 25 that means it will be minus 200 minus 200 x then minus 500 y and then plus 2 into 4 into 10 that means 80 x y is equals to 16 minus 25 so that means minus 9 so it will be 91 right let's check it first 100 minus 25 75 plus 16 91 so it will be 91 x square plus 91 y square minus 91 into 25 so that means okay let's keep it as 91 into 25 so if we try to modify it it will be 91 minus 16 so that means 75 so 75 x square then 100 91 minus 100 so it will be minus 9 y square and then my plus 200 plus 200 x plus 500 y minus 80 x y and then it will be let's take 25 common if we take 25 as common so remaining will be 91 plus 625 means 25 into 25 so it is 25 so 91 plus 25 it is 116 so 116 we can write it as 2 into 58 right so 25 into 2 into 58 so that means 50 into 58 so this is effectively 100 into 29 100 we are trying to just simplify it so that it, it's easy for our calculation so this is basically 2900 so it will be ultimately minus minus 2900 equals to zero so this is our for the second one so let's go to the third one the point x1 comma y1 it is given as 3 comma 2 right 3 comma 2 and our circle okay x square plus y square so first let's write it down x square plus y square that means t square will be 3x it is 3x plus okay huh 3x plus 2y and then minus 6x so therefore minus 3 times x plus 3 and then it is plus 4y so therefore plus 2 into y plus 2 and then minus 2 so it's whole square so this is t square and then s s1 so x square plus y square minus 6x plus 4y minus 2 times now s1 will be x square plus y square so that means 9 plus 4 that means 13 minus 6 into 3 that means 18 plus 4 into 2 that means 8 minus 2 so therefore 8 minus 18 plus 8 so that means minus 10 so 13 minus 10 it is 3 and 3 minus 2 so that means it is effectively let's check it first properly 8 minus 2 is 60 is 6 and okay so effectively it is 6 minus 5 so that means 1 so it will be simply 1 so therefore let's expand both sides so this will be first 9 or rather 
ओके थ्री एक्स प्लस टू वाई माइनस थ्री एक्स सो देर फोर थ्री एक्स थ्री एक्स विल बी कैंसल्ड आउट सो सिंपली टू वाई प्लस टू वाई सो टू वाई प्लस टू वाई सो दैट मीन्स फोर वाई एंड ऑन दिस साइड इट विल बी माइनस नाइन प्लस फोर माइनस टू सो प्लस फोर माइनस टू विल बी प्लस टू राइट एंड माइनस नाइन प्लस टू विल बी प्लस माइनस सेवन माइनस नाइन एंड प्लस टू सो माइनस सेवन होल स्क्वायर सो दिस इज थर्ड ब्रैकेट होल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल्स टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस वाई स्क्वायर माइनस सिक्स एक्स प्लस फोर वाई माइनस टू सो देर फॉर आर इक्वेशन इज गेटिंग कन्वर्टेड इन टू सिक्सटीन वाई स्क्वायर दिस इज सिक्सटीन वाई स्क्वायर प्लस फोर्टी नाइन then then minus 2 into 4 that means 8 8 into 7 so that means 56 y is equals to x square plus y square minus 6x plus 4y minus 2 so effectively the equation is x square then minus 15 y square and then minus 6x then plus 56 plus 4 so that means 60 y and then Minus fifty one is equals to zero. So this is basically for the third one. So let's now go to the fourth one. So for the fourth one, the point x one comma y one is given as ten comma four. So it is ten comma four, and the equation of the circle is x square plus y square equals to twenty five. So therefore, first tangent x square plus y square. So that means ten x. It is ten x plus four y minus twenty five whole square is equals to s. So that means x square plus y square minus twenty five multiplied by s one. So that means hundred square plus sixteen. So that means hundred and sixteen and minus twenty five. It will be plus ninety one. So therefore, equation is hundred x square plus sixteen y square plus six twenty five, and then minus two into twenty five. So that means fifty times ten. That means minus five hundred x, and then minus two hundred y, and then it is plus eighty x y is equals to ninety one x square. Plus ninety one y square minus twenty five into ninety one. So therefore, the equation is coming out to be hundred minus ninety one. That means nine x square. Then ninety one minus sixteen. So therefore, it will be minus seventy five y square. And then minus five hundred x minus two hundred y plus eighty. X y and six twenty five plus twenty five into ninety one. We have already calculated it. It will be twenty nine hundred. So therefore, plus twenty nine hundred is equals to zero. So this is basically for the fourth one, and finally for the last one, five. The point x one comma y one. It is given as one comma three. So it is one. Comma three and the circle is x square plus y square minus two x, so x square, so that means x into one plus three into y minus two x. So therefore, minus of minus of x plus one and then plus four y. So therefore, plus plus two into y plus three and then finally minus eleven minus. Eleven whole square is equals to s s one, so therefore s is x square plus y square minus two x plus four y minus eleven multiplied by now s one, so therefore one square plus three square, so that means one plus nine ten ten and then minus two and plus twelve minus two. Okay, minus two plus twelve. So therefore, twelve minus two that means min plus ten, right? And then minus 
11 let's check it first yes okay so that means 20 minus 10 it is 9 so let's expand this side okay it is coming out to be x minus x so that means x is getting cancelled out and then 3y plus 2y so that means 5y and over this side minus 1 and minus 11 so that means minus 12 and plus 6 so therefore it will be minus 12 plus 6 so that means minus 6 whole square is equals to 9 times x square plus y square minus 2x plus 4y minus 11 so therefore the equation is 25 y square minus 2 into 5 that means 10 into 6 so that means minus 60 y plus 36 equals to 9 x square plus 9 y square minus 2 into 9 that means 18 x plus 9 into 4 36 y and minus 99 so effectively the equation is 9 x square then 9 minus 25 so that means minus 16 y square minus 18 x and then 36 plus 60 so that means plus 96 y and 99 minus 99 minus 36 so that means minus 135 right yes minus 135 equals to 0 so this is basically for the last one thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today